Now we're in Vegas, me and my beauty crew. I did not gamble this time because I was very busy on a mission. You all have had such a positive impact in my life, and for years I've been wanting to do something big in return. With the help of Bare Minerals and my talented beauty crew, we hit the road on an incredible journey to uncover beauty. Hi you guys, we are driving right now in Vegas. It is hot and we're on our way to a girl named Paulette's house. I love her. Let me tell you about her. She has been in the military for like seven years. And here's her problem. She is there in her fatigues every day, jumps out of planes, totally badass. And then she comes back to the States and she does not know basically where to begin, how to be a girl again how to apply her makeup, what she's gonna wear. And so, we gotta help big time. And I got my girls here, <laughs> okay? This is a beauty crew. This is a video that I watched when I chose her, and I was like, oh my god. It's pretty intense, ready? Let's yes. do it. All right. Hi everyone, my name is Paulette Taggart and I've been in the military for seven years now. I was deployed to Iraq in 2010 and 11 for about 13 months and it was very, very, very hard to transition and try to fit back into normal civilian life. So when I came home, I just started watching all these YouTube videos and buying tons and tons of makeup. I try to play with it, I try to do different things with it. Sometimes it works and sometimes not so much. Coming out of deployment was really tough but Learning how to be a girl again was just as tough. So I just want to say how much I really appreciate the opportunity to do this. Absolutely. She's like, um, she's like G.I. Jane. Yeah, she is. she's amazing. Yeah. She totally is. Mm -hmm. It's Thanks. so admirable. Yeah. yeah, she deserves this. Yeah. I wanted to give back to her. So I'm so thankful for everything that she's done for us here in the States. So of course I was going to show up and bring my own army, a beauty army. <laughs> Okay, so we literally just pulled up to her house and I have not seen her yet. So I'm kind of nervous, but like really excited. Here we go. Ah! Too short. I'm in a parachute. Ah! Oh, oh, how are you? So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mom. Hello. How are you? We can recognize you. <laughs> Meeting Andrea was amazing. She's so cute. I love her. Um, I just want to keep her. So I can't wait to work with her some more. And see what we can do today. After this makeunder, I hope that Paulette walks away with a little more confidence in herself and that to realize that she truly is beautiful both inside and out. Here's your bedroom. Yes, yes. I saw over there you actually have like a lot of beauty stuff. I do. You know, the funny thing is, is all that makeup I've acquired within the last year. Are you allowed to wear makeup like in the army? Basically what I'm wearing right now mm -hmm. is what you're allowed to wear. It was really weird being overseas. You couldn't wear your hair down. I had to wear my hair up like this every day. Um, we didn't wear makeup and it was kind of one of those things where I looked around and I was like, you know, I want to do something pretty. I want to be pretty. I feel like it's one thing to, you know, want to switch up your style from tomboy to feminine. I think it's a completely different story that most of us cannot relate to. Wanting to switch up, you know, your style from military, just got back from overseas to wanting to be more feminine. But I wanted to at least try to understand a little bit more uh, where she was coming from. Tell me about your injury. I broke my arm in half and had my hand turned all the way backwards. Um, and it was from jumping out of airplanes as a paratrooper. So my equipment got caught on the side of the plane when I jumped. So the plane kind of drugged me for a little while. And as soon as I was released, my arm got caught in my parachute. And as soon as it deployed, it comes out, I believe, at like two, 250 miles an hour. And it broke my arm in half. So. I had to land that way. I had about 150 to 170 pounds worth of gear on me as well. After she explained to me how she broke her arm, she then proceeded to tell me all of the other injuries that she got while she was overseas, and they were awful. I was involved in a blast. I had blood coming out my nose, my mouth, you know, my ear. So I ended up having to come home to recover. There was a lot of things that happened overseas that were very personal. I was depressed. It got to the point where I was not even human anymore, you know? It really, really got emotional, so I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, but it was a long road back. 
<laughs> it was a long road back and it was it was hard but every day is a new day and I get stronger as I go along so what can you do you know push forward I view you as like the ultimate woman I look up to girls like you for sure hearing you talk about all the stuff I'm just like god like you're just amazing after we spoke for a while I felt like I had a better understanding of really who she was as a person she was actually really into beauty hair makeup fashion um, that's something that was a big interest for her at this point so I was honored to help is there anyone that you like look up to like in the like yeah. someone's closet that you would like to raid Lucy Hill from Pretty Little Liars oh she's cute oh my god I love her stuff. I think we can do these things. You do? Easily. Really? And we can teach you how to do it too. I'm like really excited. I am so excited. We have a plan. We do. Let's go. Let's get started. All right. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> First things first, we went to wardrobe. So Paulette, yes. we have these amazing clothes here. I focus a lot on flowy fabrics, tons of colors. Raven brought her a bunch of really cute options for her to choose from. Nice flowy dress for a day date. You can take this from day to evening effortlessly. We also have this fun number, a nice going out dress, you know, girls night out. I'm so excited, I'm ready. Okay, so I'm gonna send you off to hair and makeup, okay. and then once you're all done up, we're gonna put you in these fabulous numbers here, and your closet <laughs> is going to be done as well. Yay! Raven really hooked her up. Thanks, Raven. All right, so we are here to do Paulette's hair. And we have no mirror, because Paulette is not allowed to see herself. Nope. That's the rule. No. We got to Kara and I explained to Kara she wants to learn, teach her the way. So Kara did. Kara was very thorough. Let's take down the hair first. How about that? Sure. Let's see what it's like. Sure. Let's see what we got here. So I understand that you have some um, restrictions on how you can wear your hair in the forest, right? Yes. Okay, so what are those restrictions? Um, just basically that I have to be able to pull it away from my face. So as long as I can pull it into a bun, um, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So we're just going to kind of wet you down, mm -hmm. put some products in, and give you a great blow dry and see how it goes. Kara taught her, you know, what direction to blow dry her hair, what products to use. Paulette just soaked it up like a sponge. So I'm going to start. I'm just going to apply some kind of like a water solution. Um, it's just going to wet your hair a down. Special water? <laughs> yeah, it's just water. It has like a nice scent to it, some tea tree oil. Mm. It's just going to help kind of hydrate your hair. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of kind of like a grip and hold yeah. that way. So when we put the heat on it, it kind of steams it into your hair. It? It's thickening hairspray. I'm just going to kind of conservatively apply this. It's just in order to get some lift and body in there. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit of mousse just through your crown area so that we get that volume that we're hoping for. I love volume. Yeah, what girl doesn't like volume? I mean, it's volume. It's is natural. Like everything. All right, so I'm going to start with a flat brush. This is a Mason Pearson. It's awesome. It also smooths at the same time. They just have different types of bristles. So basically, I'm going to start off with wrap drying your bangs. Okay. So that gets your hair growth to kind of move around for me, and so that I can now kind of mold it to where I want it to sit. Then you'll go in with your round brush, kind of bring that forward, bring it back, and that's when you go in with molding. And then we'll just kind of do what we were doing through your hairline all throughout. Once you've gotten the blow dry done, you can literally just take your curling iron, splitting your hair, and just kind of taking random pieces and wrapping them. Since you already have this kind of wispy side fringe going on, I'm just basically going to incorporate what you already have, mm -hmm. but remove a little bit of weight okay. so that they naturally want to kind of push off of your face. When she was done, it looked so good. It was voluminous. It was feminine. It was feminine. So right now I'm just going to pin you back because we're going to hand you over to Alex from Bare Minerals. Alex's part was so much fun. Alex was very enthusiastic. Hey, hi people. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for doing this. Okay. Of course. So Let's start with the complexion. Yes. I'm going to start with a little bit of moisturizer just to prep your skin. The Advanced Protection SPF 20 moisturizer. So you have SPF 20 right off the bat. Right off the bat. <laughs> 
Next I'm going to use a prime time. This is a foundation primer, so it's going to help to fill in any fine lines and open pores. It's going to take away any dry and rough patches, and it's going to make your foundation glide on even more smoothly. Paulette told her some complaints that she had about her skin, you know, imperfections that she wanted to learn how to make less noticeable later on, and Alex helped her with that. She showed her like all the products to use, what where to use them. Okay, so with our original foundation, we kind of have a little mantra, and it's called Swirl, Tap, Buff. Say it with me. Swirl, Swirl tap, tap, buff. buff. Oh, the lady in the back. No. <laughs> so what you do is you add a little bit into the lid, and you mm. can see how much I'm using. A little bit goes a really long way, so you don't need much at all. I'm gonna take my full flawless face brush, and I'm going to swirl the minerals into the lid to pick them up into the brush. Tap out the excess, and buff. Can you see the slight bit of hyperpigmentation that she has is just disappearing, like magic. <laughs> it still doesn't look like she's wearing any makeup. Exactly, and that's what's so amazing about this product. As I'm watching, I'm just noticing this transformation, this angelic being being created in front of me. Next product. Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer, and this yes. has an SPF 20. Oh my gosh. So far, everything we've used on you, apart from Prime Time, has had an SPF in it. So we're completely covering and taking care of that. Which bottle. is what I need. Exactly. So. There you go. <laughs> so this is amazing. I'm just going to take my Maximum Coverage Concealer Brush, and I'm just going to go around the eye area and just maybe go over those little areas of pigmentation. So one last thing I want to show you for your complexion before we move on. We have something <laughs> called Well Rested Face and Eye Brightener. Mm -hmm. And this is going to make you look like you've had 12 hours of sleep, even if you've only had one. <laughs> but <you laughs> That's can, a usual then. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also use it to highlight other areas of your face, not just oh, underneath okay. your eyes. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. I'm going to take my Maximum Coverage Face Brush. And I'm just going to start again just with the eye area and then I'm going to take it up underneath the brow and then a little bit above the brow as well just to give you a lift. I'm going to just finish off your complexion actually with Touch Up Veil uh -huh. which is going to just kind of finish off the look. It's going to set your makeup, it's going to absorb excess oil. Just dust down the T-zone and either side of the nose. So you know we put primer on before we put foundation, we use the prime time. Yes. So we have a prime time for your eyelids as well. This is really great. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the movable part of the eyelid. Just stops creasing and helps your eyeshadow stay on longer. So this is the eyeshadow palette I chose for you. This is called The Truth. I'm going to start with the lightest colour and I'm just going to take it all the way up underneath the brow. Okay, I'm just going to go in with this one now. Slightly darker and I'm going to pop that all over the movable part of your eyelid. So from lash, just up to just underneath the crease. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush like this. This is the Tapered Shadow and Crease brush. And I'm just gonna go into the darkest color. And I'm just gonna go back and forth and take it down like into the outer corners. And I'm just gonna do a little bit underneath the eyes as well, just to define a little bit. Next up, I'm gonna go in with my Lasting Liner. Um, and this is really foolproof, it's so easy to use. You just stay as close as you possibly can to the lash line. This is our Lash Domination Mascara. This is like one of my absolute favorite products. I know I, I sound like I say that about everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, it's amazing. <laughs> so just look down for me, keep your eyes open, blink as much as you like. I'm gonna go back with into the complexion mm -hmm. with one of our Ready Bronzers. I'm gonna use the High Dive. I'm just going to take this underneath the cheekbone, top of the forehead, around the outer perimeters of the face. Think of it like that. So forehead, under the cheekbone, and then down under the jaw. We have to bring out those beautiful apples of your cheeks. This is the faux pas. So smile for me. So if you wonder where to put blush, all you have to do is smile. You see how those little apples just pop out? <laughs> and they're just begging for you to put blush on them. Yes. Please. So I'm going to finish with my favourite lip products. These are Moxie Lip Liner and a Moxie Lipstick. This is Never Say Never, which is a gorgeous fuchsia pink. So I'm just going to use this to outline the lips. Alex did a really good job at showing her how to accentuate like her natural beauty, how to do like everyday makeup, where to apply it. Um, it looked really good when she was done. Yeah, so you look amazing. All right. Right now, we are going to bring you back into your room. The crew is there. We're going to get you ready. While you're getting ready, we're going to bring your mom out here. All right. And then we're going to reveal you <laughs> to yourself and your mother. So, All right, right, let's go. 
All right. Do not look in any reflection. Okay, I'm not looking. <laughs> Floppy. Don't look, don't look. We kind of switched things up for this one. I really wanted this reveal to be her and her mother seeing her for the first time. Okay, so you ready to see your mom? Should we go get her? Yeah, let's go see her. Let's okay. do it. You stay here. We're going to call you out when <laughs> okay. we're ready. Okay. The time has come for her to come out and reveal her new, even more beautiful self to us. What are you thinking? I'm just really excited to see what it is she's <laughs> going to look like. I really am excited. All right, Paulette, we're ready for you. She looked absolutely stunning. You. <laughs> <laughs> the first thought was like, who is that? <laughs> I was like, please don't trip. <laughs> and who is that? Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Shock. <laughs> you look yeah. like a supermodel. She looked like she just came straight out of a magazine. I love the dress that she chose for herself. It fit really good. I her look like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like a girl? I do. I do. I don't even know what to say. It doesn't even look like me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have boobs! <laughs> Her mom's reaction was so sweet. Her mom was crying, which made me want to cry. But they kept it together. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> Thank you guys. She'll make me cry. Give me a hug. Honestly, I feel beautiful. I, I feel wonderful. I don't think I've felt this way in a really, really long time. Thank you so much, Paulette, for not only letting us into your home, but letting the world into your home, for everything that you've done for all of us fighting for your country. I really appreciate it, and honestly, it was really an honor to even be a part of your life, even just a little bit for a day. I really hope that everything that we taught you helped you for the future, and all of you, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I love you. Bye. Hey, you guys, before you leave, don't forget to check out the behind the scenes footage right here. And if you missed any episodes, you can click right here to watch those. Thanks. Bye.